there are two types of fins in the bony fish. The actinopterygians, or ray fin fish, possess cartilaginous rays in their fins, while the sarcopterygian fish, or lobe fin fish, possess a series of bones within their fins, and thus joints and muscles within the fins allow for the movement of the fins. A number of actinopterygians have evolved mechanisms uh, to allow their pectoral and pelvic fins to allow locomotion on land, but it is of particular interest to follow the adaptations of the sarcopterygian fins, since the sarcopterygians are more closely related to amphibians. In the Devonian period, there were a number of sarcopterygian fish, which evolved fins which possessed the same bones within them as the tetrapods would possess in their arms and legs. So these sarcopterygian fins possessed a humerus, a radius, an ulna, and carpal elements in the pectoral fin, and then a femur, tibia, and fibula, and tarsal elements in the pelvic fin. Some sarcopterygian fish even possessed a wrist joint, and perhaps other bones of the hand as well.